Hi, and uh, welcome to Philosophy 110, Religions of the World. Someone once said, wherever people are found, there too religion resides. I've heard people ask why we should study religions. <laughs> There's no easy answer. The study of world religions has become increasingly important in the first part of the 21st century. As a result of mass communications and ease of travel, individuals of varied backgrounds are coming in contact more than ever before. The Middle East is a cauldron of emotions involving Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. Headlines are being made by devotees of Hinduism and Islam in India. Some of the conflicts in areas of the former Soviet Union bloc nations have religious undertones. Bottom line, a knowledge of world religions is now essential to understanding people of various world cultures, their political systems, and the quest for world peace. We'll cover a lot of ground as we look at the philosophical and historical foundations of the world's major religions. If you'll bring an open and curious mind to your study, I think you'll discover that this course will be very enjoyable. So, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm ready to get started, so let's go.